Welcome back, chippers. This week, we're gonna make a basic, simple patio table. What I have here is just a quick diagram to show you the size. Okay, the legs are gonna be 17 inches tall, and the top is gonna to be 14 by 14 all the way around. So that's what we're gonna do. And the way we're gonna do that is we are gonna make the table out of these chunks of wood, believe it or not. This is going to show you how we can take these pieces of wood and turn it into a nice little patio table. All right, now we're at the table saw. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to cut this into our four legs. And what I want to do is with the thickness here, I want the legs to be the same thickness all the way around. So I'm going to take my combination square and I'll put that on the side like that. And you can see that that's the depth of this piece. So I'm going to flip that over and I'll put this on here like that. Take my pencil and I'm going to make a mark. And that's where we want that to be. So now I want to make sure that I have the saw set up right. So first thing, power is unplugged. So now we'll make our adjustment. So what I want to do is I'm going to put this up here. We're going to take our fence and make sure that we're lined up and as you can see there's my line right there and it's right in line with the saw blade. Then we want to make sure that the saw blade is deep enough so we're going to crank that up just a little bit because we want the teeth just to show above just like that. Okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to plug the power in. Got my guide got my power, plug that in, and the first thing, safety glasses, so we're going to take this and we're going to go ahead and cut our four legs. wait for the blade to stop and then I'll pick up my pieces and then we're going to square those off on the miter saw. Okay now we're at the miter saw and I've got two that are just a little bit longer so I'm going to take them and I'm going to square the edges off on these two and then that way we'll make sure that we have our, our legs square. So all I'm going to do is I've got it set up, plug my power in, once I have the power in I'm going to cut these two now all I'm going to do is just take just a little bit off the end. And I'll do the same on this one because you can see it's got a little bit of a bend on it so we want to straighten that up. Okay so we've got those two. I've been down, pick up my other pieces, and this table isn't completely square, uh, square but we're going to test them out anyway, and there we go. There we have our four legs and the, the, the right height for our table. Alright, so we just cut our four legs and we've got those all set. So now what we have to do is we're going to have to cut our frame. Frame is what's going to hold our legs together and allow us to put the top on. So what I have here is I've got this cut out. We want our frame pieces to be 14 uh, inches long. And decided that I want them to be two and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna cut two of these. And as you can see right there, if I take my tape measure out, we measure it, got that set, and there's our two, and there's our half. So that's two and a half. So then what we're going to do is we're going to get our saw lined up. So I've got a fence set up. 
put this up against here, and we're going to unlock our fence, and our power, remember, is unplugged while we're making adjustments. Bring that over to there. We're going to lock that in. Now you can see that the blade is at two and a half. But the blade is a little too tall, so I want to bring that down so just the top of the teeth are showing. So we have the top of the teeth showing right there. Okay. So now I've got my push stick. And before we do anything, put on our safety glasses. I'm going to plug the power in. And what I got to do is I've got to cut two of these strips. Okay, as always, we wait for the uh, blade to stop before we do anything, and then we're going to unplug our power. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the miter saw, and we're going to go ahead and cut our 14-inch pieces. Okay, so now we're at the miter saw. We've cut our pieces out, and what I've got done here is I cut these a little bit longer than our 14-inch pieces, so what I had to do so I had to measure from one end to 14, so there's my first mark, and then I took it from the other side and measured it, and I got 14. So we're going to end up with a little bit left over. So I did that to both pieces, so we're going to cut those out, and that'll be our frame. Okay. Because I was making adjustments, I had it unplugged. Now I'm going to plug the saw in miter saw and we're going to line these up and we're going to go ahead and cut these safety glasses on hands out of the way so I got my first two pieces cut the next two up okay so now I have my frame these are what's going to attach to the side of our legs to make uh, our frame of our uh, table okay so now we have our legs so we got our four legs and then we got our four pieces for a frame. So now what we got to do is we got to find a way to actually put these together so uh, we have a strong, tight fit. And what we have and what we're going to use is we're going to use this. This is the neatest little tool ever. This is called a pocket hole jig. And what you do is you get it set up for the thickness of your wood. So if you see there, it might be hard to see but there's our three-quarter mark okay so you can adjust this up and down to up to one and a half the reason for that is that is your guide to tell you the what thickness of your wood you're using and so if you look here right there is three-quarters so we've got this set at three-quarters we take this and we're going to clamp it down to our bench And then they make a special bit for this. This is the bit, and it's tapered, so you got two bits. This is where the screw is actually going to go in, and this is the guide hole. 
Okay, so what you got to do is to make sure you're all right and that you get this sleeve set correctly. You put that down through the hole, and when it comes down, it should not touch the base plate right there. See where that is? You don't want that to touch because otherwise that'll drill into it. Okay, so we've got the collar set ready to go. So we pull that out. Go ahead and put it in our drill. Tighten that all up. And what we've got to do is we've got to put two pocket holes on either end of this on all four pieces. But make sure that they're, the holes are on the same side every, for when you do this. So this is how we clamp it down. Put your board in and get it lined up. So I've got mine lined up. I tighten this bracket down. Gets it nice and tight. Safety glass is on. Drill's ready. We come in at an angle. We drill those. We loosen this up. And there's your pocket holes. Okay, so now we've got to do the same thing on the other end. So I'm going to take that with these facing out, put it back in our clamp, get ourselves lined up, tighten that up, There we go. We have our pocket holes on either end, so we've got to do that to all the other pieces. Tighten that up. Take our drill. Loosen it and flip. Tighten back up. Do that one more time. Flip it over. Get that lined up. Alright, now we have our four pieces and we have all of our pocket holes drilled. So now we're ready to put the uh, frame together with the legs. So, Alright, so now that we've drilled our pocket holes and we've cut our pieces all out, we've got them laid out here. So I'm going to take this and these are all going to have to face the same way because we want these on the inside so you don't see them when you put it together. So what I'm going to do to make it easier for me to put this together is I've got this clamp here. We're going to take our piece and put it in between. And I'm going to go ahead and run the clamp over. But what you want to make sure is that you're lined up with the top so it's flush. So I've got that, so I'll tighten that up. So now we take this and we've changed the bit. This is a special bit for pocket hole screws. So what I have is I've got the pocket hole screws here in our little handy dandy little box. And that's what they look like. And so now what we've got to do is we've got to drive these in to put this frame together. So I take my pocket hole screw, start it in the hole, put that in, get the other one, and then we're going to do the same on the other side. This is going to hold our frame together. Hands. 
hold that. Get our screw started. Line it up. So now you can see where the screws are in there and all in there. Okay, that's why they call it a pocket hole because it sits inside. So now I take this off, the clamp off. Now we've got one side of our table. So we got to continue doing that until we get all our sides together. So set this aside. Again, I'm going to go ahead and drive these screws in. You don't want to drive them too hard because you don't want to drive the screws all the way through. Chip that away a little bit, but that's okay. And there we go, we've got that put together. So again, they're inside and inside. So now we're going to take that off. Now to get the other two pieces in, okay so what I've done now is I've taken our two other pieces that um, we haven't put our screws in our pocket holes, put them in, took two, and then what we do is we use the same bit again, we'll get our pocket hole screws, and we're going to go ahead and put these in on this side so we'll put those two in and then we're going to do it again on the other side screw in, get our drill ready, okay and we're going to go ahead and put those all in and go all the way around and then we'll be set. Okay so we have that all together, put all our pocket screws in so we're going to take this, we're going to flip this over, and we're going to take our clamps off. there you go we have our table frame with the pocket holes so as you can see from the outside you can't see any screw holes or anything else so the next thing we're going to do is we got to measure out and we're going to put a simple top on top okay so now we're ready to put the top on so I've got the frame here and I've got the top ready to go on the wood is warped uh, because it's been sitting around for a long time it's a lot of scrap so again, I'm going to go ahead and use the brad nailer to put it all together. So first thing before we use anything, safety glasses. And then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and staple this down. So we've got that stapled down, and I'm not worried about the crease in the middle because this is a patio table, but this is a basic design, and you can build just about anything from this. You can build end tables for the house, you can put finer cuts and everything in it, you can glue the pieces together, um, you can add drawers to the bottom, and uh, you're all ready and set to go to put this on your patio. So now you can finish it any way you want, sand it down. You can paint it, 
For right now, I'm just leaving it in its natural form, but I've set it on the front porch with the rocking chairs. So you can sit down in a chair, and now you've got your little patio table that you have outside on your porch. I'll see you in the shop.